Okay. Um, the first thing I noticed about this movie was uh, the scenery and the aesthetics of the movie were really amazing. Um, like, the scenes of the farms and, like, mountains, and they were all just really incredible and breathtaking. And I think the movie kind of had to be aestheticized to keep viewers interested in such an odd topic that really wouldn't spark a lot of viewers' interest initially. Um, another thing I thought was well done was the use of the internet as kind of a backdrop to frame the entire movie, because uh, it's kind of a reoccurring theme throughout the movie. And I think it makes sense because it was kind of the internet that initially enabled all these people to get together and do these kinds of things. Finally, I think the director developed the characters in a very kind of morally neutral way, which is really important for this kind of film because it allows the viewers to kind of draw their own conclusions about whether this is right or wrong in the end. About the Q&A, uh, the director seemed a little uncomfortable, which is kind of um, reasonable considering he was being asked why he made a movie about people getting fucked by horses in front of like 300 people. But um, other than that, someone asked a pretty valid question about whether he considered it a documentary or not, and um, I don't. He said it was like ninety percent recreation, which I don't really consider a documentary. I think it was more of a uh, experimental film that kind of happened to be informative. Um, also, he talked about he was invited to a mounting session, and uh, he said he declined the offer. I think he should have went. Like, if you're already this far into making a movie about the kind of thing, you should just go all the way. Like, other than that, um, it was a pretty interesting film to watch, and I, I enjoyed it.